The reason most anglers go to Transkei is to find the ever elusive cob. And that's why Dean finds himself at Mpami. Having very limited live bait, Dean decided to use the last live mackerel as a slide bait. Okay, we're just putting a leader knot. I haven't used a multi-fly in ages off the beach. I don't, I don't slide often. In fact, I don't slide at all. So, yeah, it's gonna feel a bit weird throwing a sinker only. So, but yeah, that's the plan. We're gonna slide a live bait, yeah. I think I've got all five old kingfisher on here, giant abrasion. And uh, using my Saltus 40, it's a newer Saltus, very really lovely reel. Um, got a couple that I bought for fishing off the boat. And if I need to fish for edibles off the beach, like a slider bait, live bait. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven meters is enough. I'm sure by now most of you know already know how to slide. So we're gonna use a thin single line because there's quite a there's, a, there's actually a lot of reef. So we wanna if we do hook a fish we can just break the single line off and uh, carry on. So you're gonna tie that to the ring. So that ring had a crack on it and uh, I would have hate to hook the prize fish and uh, That swivel pulls through the crack, which is probably uh, like a 1% chance of happening. But nevertheless, you rather eliminate all the risks and all the problems. Start it with a 7 ounce sinker. And I'm going to make a knot on this, so it just creates a weak point, one or two knots. So if I do get snagged, uh, I hope it breaks at the knot. And for, for hook snoot, I'm going to use 0.9, it's quite heavy, but uh, yesterday we were getting cut off a lot, that stood no chance yesterday. So, I'm going to put the 0.9, we're fishing off a rocky point, so it's a bit heavy, but uh, yeah. So you want, want that much for your slide bit? Rig up, so I'll make a figure of it on the shank. Alright, just wait it. This is my carrier hook. With a cop, they obviously don't feed from the front. I should not pull that tight. Perfect. And you've got a little, I've got a four row hook just for the back. But there's a there's a trick with this that I want to show you now. Just cut that piece off. I need that. I'm going to use it now. You're going to make one, two, two is fine. Okay. So it's your second hook. One. Before you pull it too tight, you take a piece of very thick line, probably a one mil, or point nine is fine, and you tighten that there. When you tighten that, that's gonna <sighs> tight, sorted, done. And then you're gonna clip this a little bit short there and there. And you're gonna clip that out so what that does is I'll show you now how we're gonna use this and what's its purpose All right.
show you something quickly. Try and handle your bait with care. You've got a, two cable ties. Just make that one end a bit sharper. And we're gonna push that cable tie through a cavity in the mackerel. So most fish have this cavity. Just above the head there. There we go. Don't tighten all the way. And you're gonna put that on top as well. This fish is lively. You're gonna take your carrier hook, you're gonna hook that on. Stress that fish out, let's let it swim a bit for now. Guys, when you're fishing with mackerel and stuff, you've got to handle it with so much care. Um, because they die so quickly, they don't do well under stress and you know, in a live bait environment. So, you want to be able to wanna take care of them as best as you can. So, this hook here now, that little thingy I showed you that I added on, I'm going to measure there, okay, that's going to go in there very lightly under the skin and so what happens with this now is that that T that I left there that stops this from, from swiveling just pull that in a little bit there we go. There. No, perfect. Okay. Having a live mackerel out there gives you all the confidence you need, but unfortunately, in this case, nothing fell for it. Dean quickly then rigged up his spinning gear. Okay, that's it. Come. I'll put this float there, just as a bit of a pulling you know, see that's a glow glow foam you put that off you see that glow three days into the trip Dean was still persisting to find one of those elusive cob but the pickers made the job rather difficult. Dean's bait lured in a juvenile grey shark. Okay guys, so yeah, quite a I thought I was getting a cob bite and I just got lifted and floorboarded down. There was a little grey. I got bitten up right here in the front here now. So fortunately I tried to grab it, it was in the pool here. But uh, just to take the hook off, yeah, that didn't work out. So, so we're gonna put this and carry on. I was, I was thought I'd get a cop bite over the, you know, over the back there. But uh, also in the back of my mind thought that I'm gonna catch a shark here as well. So yeah, it happened. Cool. 
gonna go rush off and put another bed quickly. Guys, so uh, this is what we came for. Not the size, but uh, a little baby cop. Uh, yeah, just a plain chocolate bit. And uh, this is a little juvenile cop, but still lack of fun. As I was busy on the phone talking to Andre and letting him know what we we're catching, and uh, this thing came and grabbed the bait. Just gave me full slack line. So, yeah. Nice fish. Let's go and take off those hooks and put them back. This one must grow much, much bigger. There. Just plain chocolate strips, a lot of peckers here, a little bit of foam, but a 7 0 hook there. Okay. Just put the rod down. Yeah, nice little cubby. Small. I'm trying to get him some life so. You can get him back, put it back just now. Yeah, he's happy, he wants to go now. Okay, let's go. After targeting a fish for quite some time, the releasing of it far exceeds the satisfaction of catching it. Oh, I'm a bit relieved. Not the size we wanted, or that I want, but uh, tell you what, it made my trip because I came here to try and catch cob in Transkai off the rocks. So it's been very challenging, but yeah, eventually got a little baby one. Right? We're going to still continue and persist and see if we can get one of those bigger ones now. They're definitely in the spot, so just got to get one of them, those bigger ones to eat. Okay. Okay guys, so we, we got that one cop now and uh, I'll show you the bait I got it on. It was absolutely quiet and there's lots of peckers. So I've just cut long chaka strips and I'm not beating it at all. Purely because of the amount of peckers in the water. And I'm just tying them onto the foam. And I'm just packing them on one by one by one. So what's, well, what I do is after each strip, I try to tie the strip down because with this latex cotton, if a pecker gets to the cotton, it just unwraps and then all your strips will fall off. So tie a bit, tie it down and then add the next strip and add the next strip. You don't need a lot, four strips, more than enough for any size cob. That's the thing with, with fishing, you know, with, with cob fishing there. You catch a 20 kilo cob on a little chocker bait like this. But the thing is, in this area, there's lots of those that size and those, you know, five kilo fish. So you don't want to choke it as well and just put, just keep on adding bait for no reason. You know, I mean, you try and keep it. small enough so you can still hook that uh, smaller five or six kilo cup that's in the area and I see the other thing we've got a group of guys just on this beach here and they've got two floodlights in the water and uh, that's a big no-no when you're fishing for cob at night well in fact for most fish at night so just a small tip when you are fishing at night try to Minimize your your torch usage, especially when you're doing, going to cast. Um, rather put your torch on, but uh, get your you know your your torch has a few settings where you can either let it shine far out or just bright and close by. So what I do is I put it on the on the lightest setting, 
so not the brightest and uh, I just sort of open the beam up and it just shines in front of me so I can see where I'm casting and that's it so no lights in the water at all and uh, obviously the lights chase the cob away so oh, just a little tip there and that's the bait Chaka strips got some movement and uh, God, it's, it's obviously pecker proof pecker proof bait just straighten that up there you go and yes the myth is true lights on the water when fishing for cob is a definite no-no and in this case proved it again I thank you for watching ASFN fishing Please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Remember to like the videos as this really helps us. And hit that bell notification button to receive notifications every time we upload a video.